aggregating supply function now now we can show draw the diagram so here to go from start it is o x x it is o y x in o x x we are consider that employment we are going to consider aggregating supply price okay yes suppose i am saying this is a curve starting like this from stage from the stage the curve will be like this cut it okay yes this is a yes, aggregating supply which is the aggregating supply this is the aggregating supply so you can observe here this one <coughs> level of employment what do you call in level of employment then the aggregating supply it is a 500 okay so what will happen in this the stage is when you are applying to the level of employment the 10 the aggregating supply also 500 so when you are taking the level level of employment at the same time aggregating is 550 okay what will happen in this when you are when you are in increase this when you appoint the employment we are providing the full employment from starting to second level then supply also increasing from starting to second level okay then here to go this when you are compare with the 11 to 12 stages levels when you are compare with the here aggregating supply from 550 to 600 here employments also increasing and aggregating supply also increasing when you are compare with the these two stages okay so next is this the price is increasing the price is increasing that one and uh, here supply increases when you are when you are in any stage see that one here 13 compare with this 12 then in prices also increase level of employment also increase the aggregating supply also increase to 600 to 650 and moreover when you are increase the increase in the price level of 14 rupees so what will happen the increasing then the supply 700 okay so gradually increasing from this 12 lakhs 12 lakhs and uh, they explain the diagram there is what will happen is the aggregating supply also 800 means what totally what i am saying when you are increasing the price levels the supply also same level will be automatically increase either employment or price levels see we can see that one the employment is a 10 lakhs here aggregating is supply is what do you call 500s from that the increasing 11 lakhs 550 12 lakhs 600 13 650 14 700 15 750 16 800 800 the diagram is supplies the a can serve the slope down from the left to right the slope downward to the left to right slope down means what 
the aggregating supply into the employment is nil. Employment what will happen here also? Nil. So employment is level is increasing. The curve is to the right to assume the full employment, the aggregating of the function. Okay, this is the thing of Keynesian theory in command of employment. So next is John Mayer Keynes. John Mayer Keynes is a 1915 to 1919. He is part of the commission to the teaching because he is the kings of college. He is giving that one. He is explained about the demand. He is uh, once upon a time is advisor to working in MIF international banks. They are giving the advices. IBRD, they are working, they are giving advices. Now IF, IMF also, they are giving some suggestion to this financial sector because basically economics is studies in Cambridge. Okay, so is this he take the help of the Smiths Wealth of Nation he studies number of books not only Arthur Marshall but also all the writers they are writing different kinds of books so the requirement of this studying this organizations they are giving advice on banking sectors the organizations so all the things they are giving advisings but the thing is here Lee, they are saying that one aggregating de demand aggregate demand so what is the aggregate demand the aggregate nothing but i am saying that one total it is a total demand what's a total demand so in total demand for the all the commodities and in the generally in a particular level of employment so what will happen in this the household receive the incomes the workers they are getting the wages the employment they are earning the salaries and the profit spend the income in the purchase of the consumption they spend the expenditure from the profit it is any effect of this when you are going to purchase the particular commodities any effect of the demand they are seeing that one so it is that the expenditure and the capital goods is called as a expenditures and uh, the expenditure what is called the expenditure expected the expenditure in the terms of the aggregating demand price adp the aggregating expenditure expecting this the aggregating demand price so so many uh, reflect like that one so capital goods also may play the role to aggregating demand the household wipes and the incomes and the profits and the expenditure we should consider that one at the level of this total income of the community and the rise also to purchase the aggregating demand prices increasing okay the level of prices the level of incomes and everything is called as aggregating incomes the price of different levels of commodities they are going to purchasing that one so different levels of price also different level of demand different levels of supply that is called as the aggregating demands also main playing the role so if you ask the commodity of the demand like a price if particular of commodities demand now how can you show that one the commodity price will be increased which it's size a capa capability which has a rate have a particular commodity and a product that means demand for example it is a marker it is a price of previous 12 rupees current year 15 rupees it has a demand price the commodity has a demand so for example we can show the one diagram one schedule we can show that one so what is the effect will be 
in aggregating demand? Can you provide the full employment? Can you remove the unemployment? Can you say saving and uh, investment is a possibility that one? 